Floating out to sea, yeah, contrary to popularly. Hey beauties, it's Amber Lynn and I am back with a new video for you guys and I wanted to come on and show you guys my new braids. I decided to get some goddess braids because I wanted a really low maintenance hairstyle. I am going out of town tomorrow and I did not want to worry about any wigs. I didn't want to worry about me trying to blend my hair. I just wanted to get up and go. So these braids have been so convenient for me. I've had them in for about a week now and they still look really, really good. I'm not sure how long I'll keep them in. I think I might only have them in for another week or two. Uh, won't have them in that long. But I wanted to come on and show you guys my new braids. And I really love this color. I'm trying to step out of the box and try some blondes. So the color that I have in my head today is a number two and a number 27. And when I showed her the picture of how I wanted my braids to look, I told her I wanted it to have kind of like an ombre effect. So the top of my head is the number two and it slowly transitions into the color number 27. And I love how she did it. She did exactly, exactly what I wanted. And the front of my hair, the braids are a little bit smaller. Usually Ghana or Goddess braids, the uh, braids are very big and chunky at the top. But I told her I wanted them a little bit smaller and I wanted the braids to get bigger towards the back. So on the back of my head, I only have about five or six braids. But the top of my head, I have about 12. These braids go to like the middle of my butt. They are really long, but I didn't want her to cut them. I wanted them to stay the natural length, and I'm glad I did. I really don't mind that they're long at all. So before I did get my hair braided, I did wash my hair, I did a protein treatment, and I also deep conditioned my hair. If you guys want more information on the products that I use on my natural hair, comment down below and I'll definitely let you know. Um, I am on my natural hair journey. I am mid back length right now. I did post a video of my natural hair on Snapchat and I got a lot of responses from you guys. So definitely follow me on Snapchat because you just never know what you're gonna get. I didn't really plan it but since I was doing my hair, I decided to share it with you guys. And this was my first time applying heat to my hair in about a year and a half, you guys. And I couldn't even believe how my hair looked when it was blow dried. It was so much hair. So what I have been using to keep my hair moisturized while in my braids is the Jane Carter Leave-In Conditioner. This conditioner is so awesome. I use this on my natural hair and it just makes my scalp breathe. I mean, you spray it on and, and your hair feels so soft and your scalp feels like it's taking a deep breath. I really love this and it smells amazing. It smells so amazing. Ugh, it smells really, really good, you guys. And I also use the African Royale braid spray. You know, this is super old school. I've been using this since I was in like middle school. Actually earlier than that because my mom used to buy this for me to spray on my hair when I got my hair done. Now if you wanna get your edges laid, okay, she did kinda leave out a lot of mine, but I intentionally asked her not to braid my hair all the way to the front because I don't like how that looks and I did not want to break off any of my hair along my edges. I wanted my edges to be protected and I didn't want to worry about them being pulled out from the braids being too tight. So she left out my baby hair. And what I use to slick down my hair is the curls control paste and this is the passion fruit one 
I really like this not only because it smells so good but also because this is a natural product so you get a lot of really awesome ingredients in this and another really good edge control that I try is Hicks now Hicks is so good that I can do a natural puff and when I brush my hair up it gives me like waves in my hair but if you want to lay your edges down these two products are really really good products I really like these and they're not too expensive but they're not cheap either so expect to pay more than five or six dollars for either one of these now this what you see is after me having this all day so some of it might be lifting a little bit but I think it still looks pretty decent and these are really products that work for me the brand of hair that I use for these braids is the Rasta Free and again this is a color number two and a number 27 and I hope you guys like this video. I just wanted to come on and share something new with you guys. And definitely tell me how you like these. Tell me if you've tried them out, if you tried any cool colors. Thank you so much for coming and checking out my video. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.